In this video, uh, we're going to learn how to change HTML styling using uh, jQuery. First, um, we're going to uh, use the same source code as in the previous file. The only thing, uh, we're going to get rid of the uh, buttons at the top of the other document, and also we will uh, delete the uh, jQuery code. We'll only keep the uh, document ready function. So, first we want to create a button just before Facebook and we want to be able to click on the button and change the width of Facebook. All right, so let's create uh, the uh, button first. Uh, let's add some text there, change Facebook, and also let's give it an ID, change Facebook. All right, now uh, we're going to go uh, inside our uh, document ready function and we're going to write a statement where we access the uh, button. So first we access the button using the ID of the button. So number sign followed by the ID. ID is change Facebook. And then the event is going to be click. Okay. And then inside the uh, click, we need the function that we're going to be executing when we click on the button. All right. Okay. So the statement here is going to be accessing uh, Facebook. So we're going to use the ID of Facebook again. And we will use the uh, method CSS as we have done with the background color. Okay. So we're going to have two parameters here. So the first one is going to be the property we'd like to change. Okay. So it's going to be width. And the second one uh, is going to be the uh, value that we want to um, set the width uh, to. So let's uh, try, for example, uh, 300 pixels. So if we click on the button, we can see that the width of Facebook has just changed to 300 pixels. Okay, we don't have to use a string. If we use a value there, for example, if we just put 300 and we click on the button, it will still work. Okay, all right. Also, if we uh, use a mathematical operation, like um, we can have the, a sum there, 200 plus 100, it's working as well. Okay, so let's um, have a number there that uh, will give us the um, original width of Facebook uh, plus a uh, number between minus 50 and plus 50. Okay, so what we want is Facebook. Okay, is when we click on the button, we're just going to add to the width of Facebook something between minus 50 and plus 50. All right. So first of all, let's just change the original width of Facebook. So rather than having uh, width set to auto, uh, let's set it to um, 300 pixels. Okay. And then we're going to need a number between minus 50 and 50. So how are we going to do that? So first of all, let's use the um, math method, random. So we know that this uh, method is going to return uh, a number between 0 and 1. Okay. So if we want a number between minus 50 and 50. First of all, let's get a number between 0 and 100. So we can do that by multiplying this by 100. So any, uh, something between 0 and 1 multiplied by 100 will give us something between 0 and 100. Okay? And then we can um, take out 50 and now we're getting something between minus 50 and 50. And then we're going to add to that the original width of uh, Facebook. So how do we access that? So first, we need the selector using the uh, ID of Facebook. And then we're going to use width. Okay. 
So let's try this. So that's the original width, it's going to be 300 pixels. And if we click on the button, it will uh, randomly add to the uh, the um, current, uh, current width, it will add something between minus 50 and 50. Okay? All right. Now let's um, add another statement. So when we click on the button, we want to set the width to a new value and also we want to add a new class to Facebook. So the way to do that is by accessing Facebook using its ID first and then we're going to use a method here. It's going to be add class. All right. So this method will take as a parameter the name of the class that we would like to add to Facebook and let's try green box. Okay. So let's see what happens. Now we can see that the um, Facebook uh, properties has just changed to the Microsoft properties. The only thing that um, uh, did not change is the width. So the reason why is because we are setting the width using jQuery code. And if we do that using code, if we um, get or we change the class of Facebook, which uh, means that we are uh, changing the styling using CSS, the, uh, the 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 property that we set using code is not going to get changed okay so everything else will change background color for example um, height etc but this value that we set using code is not going to change all right okay so now we can try something else let's try to get a more understanding about accessing the uh, properties of uh, the HTML elements, let's um, access the inner height of Facebook. The uh, inner height of Facebook is the height of uh, Facebook, including the uh, padding. Okay, so let's just write an alert message. Okay, and we're going to alert. So, first, we're going to access Facebook. Let's just copy this as we keep using this all the time so so you can access Facebook and we need to use the inner height of Facebook okay so let's click on the button and now we can see that the inner height of Facebook is a hundred okay it's similar to the height of uh, Facebook in the uh, styling because we don't have any uh, padding all right okay now we can try also the outer height which is a little bit different so the outer height uh, is the height plus uh, well including the padding and the border okay so we can try this as well it's similar outer height and we can comment the first one and if you click there Okay, the outer height is also a hundred uh, because um, we don't have any um, border width. Okay, all right. Okay, now let's move to the um, Apple uh, div and let's create a second uh, button following the uh, Facebook button, and we're gonna give this button a new ID. Is going to be change apple and some text change apple all right so now we would like to, to uh, try something else um, we'll see how to uh, remove a class okay so we have seen how to add a class now we will see how to move uh, the class it's uh, pretty similar okay so let's just um, copy this code that we use for Facebook so this time we, we're going to be accessing the uh, change Apple button and following that we're accessing the Apple div okay let's just make sure this is correct yes okay so now 
when we click on the apple uh, div we would like to remove a class we could try the yellow uh, box class okay so let's uh, try that so so the function is going to be remove class as you would have guessed okay remove class and we just need the name of the class between quotes so in our case let's try yellow box and see what happens so change apple we just remove the class yellow box okay we can try something else we can add another class to uh, apple and just change it okay so at the moment apple has got yellow box class we can add another class let's call it um sunset for example and let's style this class so basically we want the font family to be sans serif okay and we are removing the sans serif class so if we try now so you can see that we removed the sans serif um, styling okay now we we're going to try something else so rather than clicking on the button we'd like to click on apple we can do that easily just by accessing the apple div rather than the the uh, button and the event is still uh, clicking okay so we try that so when we click on the apple div we can see that the uh, sound serif class is removed